a storm coming. I just heard some thunder. Kind of dark clouds. It's really hazy here. Nothing out here but a bunch of power poles. Sagebrush. Wind. Okay, so this is a nice pickle I got me in. Um, I went up this hill thinking there would be a place to turn around and there's not. So, I have to back out. I don't know if you can see. I know, Benny, it's stressful. I know. I'm stressed out too. Oh, I know, Benny. Hold on. We'll, we'll get out of this. Hey, everybody. Um, sorry about the last video. I thought about I should, maybe I should take it down. I was just, you know, I was feeling some feels, man. I thought maybe I should take it down, but it's up there, and, you know, it's, it's out there already, so there's not really much I can do other than just say, you know, it is okay to cry. Sometimes you have to cry. So that's all in the past. Um, let's see an update. Here, let me turn this down. So an update. Um, working hard on these bugs. I still have them. Um, right now in this small little cramped space I have, what's it called, baking soda like sprinkled everywhere. You can't really do much without a proof of breaking baking soda. Watch this. My pillow. <laughs> it's messed up, man. It's so messed up. I would not wish this on my worst enemy. So yeah, so I'm in Nevada, and it's actually raining here today. I can't believe it. Um, yesterday it rained as well. Got here yesterday. Um, it's really nice here. I have nobody around me, absolutely nobody. I'll show you a video. I'll, I'll add that on here. <clears throat> The first day I got here, it was super hot. But then it, the next day it cooled down and it rained. Just, I mean like maybe a hundred drops. Got like a hundred drops yesterday. And then today, my window's actually getting wet. So, that's cool. I washed the rig. Well, I didn't wash it. I had it washed at the truck stop wash, and they did a really great job. It was a lot cheaper than what I thought it would go for, and they put the spray wax stuff on it, so, but then I drove here, and it's dirty again, but nowhere dirty as it was, so that's good. Um, quick update. Um... What else should I tell you? What else should I tell you? I have no idea. 
I'm going to turn on the camera and I don't know what to say anymore. So, whatever. So yeah, I'm fighting the bugs still. Um... But now, I, I, today I picked up some stuff. Uh, first, I, I used baking soda, and then I read that um, alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, works. So then I went to the store to buy some of that, and they had a sign, only buy one, so other people can have. And I was like, farts, right? And so I just bought one and came home, and I turned off my pilot light on my fridge because I knew that that would be flammable and whoo boy the fumes in here when I got done so yeah I sprayed the whole bottle over everything and uh, and I sprinkled uh, about four boxes of baking soda and I've sprinkled two yeah I'm on my second box right now and then I picked up some stuff today. Um, bed bug killer, Maggie's Farm, simply effective, provides fast control, yada, 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 yada. So I sprinkled this stuff around as well. And I hope it works. But the positive side is, I got it at Walmart, and it was on clearance. So I bought four of them for the price of probably one regular stuff. So, and I've actually bought Maggie's Farm before. I bought um, some mosquito spray, some bug spray, to work in the yard. It has smelled wonderful, but I'm not going to smell this stuff. Just because. So I got that. Um, what do you see in the background? Everything's covered with a dusting of baking soda. So when you see the white dust all over it, if you can, I don't know if you can see that or not. <sighs> Ongoing battle that I will win. Fingers crossed. Okay. So. I want to give a great big shout out to Carolyn from Carolyn's RV Life and Bob Wells from Cheap RV Living. Um, they helped me find this place and I had been just driving because I didn't know what else to do. I didn't know where to go. Every time I looked in the apps and found, you know, someplace that I thought that I could go, it was either filled up already or it was on the side of a mountain or it just wasn't suitable you know I couldn't fit I couldn't fit the RV in there so I just been driving just drive 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 let's see where I, from Arizona I went up to Idaho and from Idaho I went back to Oregon and I'm just driving around staying at uh, truck stops and rest areas and just every day I was driving like the majority of the day and then I hopped <laughs> and I left Oregon I went all the way to the coast this time though that was pretty cool I'll show you a picture um, so yeah I was just driving and I ended up here in Nevada. It's very pretty here. I mean, there's a lot of wide open spaces and these little, well, they're not mountains. That one way over there might be. But it seems like they're like rolling hills. It's really pretty cool. And 
you know, today the sagebrush looks really um, grayish color with a little bit of green. And where it rained really heavy yesterday, I had to go down there in town. And that sagebrush there is pretty and green. So hopefully this sagebrush will be green today or tomorrow too. That would be pretty. I mean, if you look at these hills and you use your imagination, you can almost imagine. Sorry folks, I'm just being invaded. What is that? Look. Looks huge like that, doesn't it? Ooh. I was walking the dogs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I came across this stuff. And it's really old, like tin cans. It's pretty old, huh? Even the way they're opened. They edge on the way they're opened. So my question is, do I pick all this up? Or do I leave it here because it's so old and it's like a... Um, I don't know, what do you call it, an artifact, from, what year do you think this is, I have no idea. But this stuff is all out, you know what, since I'm digging it up, I think I'm just going to pick it all up. branch on it. I'm worried I'm going to see a snake or something. That's like an old time can opener that leaves ridges like that. See them? filming on my phone so you know you can never see the screen pretty old huh so yeah I was walking the dogs and I came across all this stuff Tobacco used to come into cans like that. Oh, what's it say on the bottom? Oh, let's see what this is. Can you see it? 
if I can't see it. Prince Albert. Prince Albert in a can. I was right, y'all. Look. Prince Albert. Can you see it? Maybe you can see it this way. So how old is that? Oh, it's still got the lid on it. Treasures. got the lid on it. Oh, see, they just punctured holes in that one. Oh, big old thing of glass. What does it say? Whatever that is. Nine, I think that's backwards. Two, six, nine. R two six nine. I don't know. Can you see it? There's a picture on the bottom. I can't tell. And then that one, number one. Whatever it was, it was number one. Some more glass. Oh, I wish I had some gloves on. I just looked at gloves yesterday for some reason. I didn't need any gloves. But I looked at them. See there? I could just tune into that intuition. What is that? There's some kind of liquid. I would say maybe and milk? I don't know. What did I do with my stick? Oh. I forgot what kind of wood this is. But, um, I carved it. So. Okay, I know I saw some more. Okay, there's another one. Get a bag now. There's another one. Looks like canned milk again. But I wish some of these had a label on them. But that's how old they are. They don't even have labels. Boy, that Prince Albert in the can with the lid still on. That was pretty cool, right? Oh, I just heard something over here. It was either a grasshopper noise or a rattlesnake noise. Shoot. Oh, there's some more. Another one. Try to bring them out so that when I come back with my bag, I can find them. shiny.
So there's supposed to be gold mines around here. Wouldn't that be cool? I'd love to find a bigger chunk of gold. Just wandering along, picking up trash. If I let go, I pretty much would look at it and go, oh, that's pretty. What is it? Oh, I wish I knew what that was. And then I'd leave it. <laughs> So I read that all of this was underwater at one time. Oh, I'm in Nevada, by the way. Northern Nevada. It's pretty out here, though. We had rain yesterday. And just like a hundred drops the day before. Ooh, there's some more dark clouds. But the wind, the wind really picked up. And so, of course, I Google tornadoes in northern Nevada. And I think it said, don't quote me on this, and I, I have a hard time remembering, but I'm pretty sure they had like 57 tornadoes in the past... Oh shoot, now I can't remember how many years. But it was really a long time. And it said not one person has died from a twister. So I was like, oh cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, that looks kind of like a wash, doesn't it? So anyway, this place was all underwater. And supposedly this white stuff is lime rock. From the water. And if you dig under that, that's when you start finding fossils. But you have to dig down pretty far. Anyway, I think that's lime rock. I see another can. It's not that old either. I'm freaked out about that sound. I think we're going to see a rattlesnake. Ah, see? Now that could be gold. Oh, pretty. Keep going. Please, please, please do not tell me that was gold. Or if you do, tell me right away before I leave. Now that, my friends, looks like... Of course, like the... That's just a guess. Oh, it's old though. Look. When was the last time you've seen a can open like that before? Boy, it's been a long time, hasn't it? There's another one. Put it up so I can see it good. Alright, let's see. Anything else? see where this goes. See, there's a lot of paths. And I don't know if these are like natural from the wash, but then you find tracks. Tracks like that. And then there's another one right here. And then every once in a while you'll see poop. Rattlesnakes, I'm coming down there. Ooh, there's like a yellow jacket or something. See, you know, look, didn't that look like a track? What is it? What kind of track is that? Do you know? Let me know in the comments. Looks like more tracks, doesn't it? Oh, so there's like a... Oh, wow. Look how far you can walk without even realizing how far you're going. I hope I can keep that in mind. Make sure I keep track of where I'm supposed to go back to. 
Although I got great cell service out here, so I know I got GPS. What's down here? Uh, this is definitely where a wash would go. Oh look, there's some cow poop. And there's some more. Is that cow poop or buffalo poop? Because I'm supposedly there's supposed to be buffalo in this area. I don't know. I'd have to uh, research that more. Alright. Where's all these bugs at? I'm not walking that way. I think I'm going to go back up. But yeah, I would say this is where, do you think this is where the gold would be if you were to dig? I don't know. If you find gold in Nevada, are you allowed to keep it or do you have to give it to somebody like the government or something? Like PLM management or something. I have no idea. I should research that. Just in case, you know. You never know. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm going to walk up this hill and I don't want y'all to hear me breathing hard. So check out this, y'all. Here's your 360 view of my new camp spot. Oh. And I came up with a name for my rig, finally. Everybody, meet Bed Buggy. Bed Buggy, meet everybody. Staring at herself in the mirror on the restroom door Voices in her head that mirror what she's heard before All the things they said to hold her back They never seem to leave her head And tend to keep her mind at war All the things they said to hold her back They keep her locked inside of all the times when she's been hurt